Hello friends, you are watching. This is awesome videos and today we are going to start one new chapter that is differential equation and we are going to solve some past year problems of differential equations. Okay, so see friends, this is a very basic chapter. You just need to use a very simple formula of integration and find the solutions. I'm not going to cover all the formulas. If the formula is in the problem, I'm going to tell you which formula you have to use. Okay, see friends, this is a basic method to cover all the topics of JWE. And by follow, following this method, you are going to score more than 50 to 60 marks. Minimum, minimum 50 to 60 marks in JWE. Okay, please follow this method. See, this is the first question asked in January 2013. You don't need to have any idea. You just need to use your basic brain. See what they say. At present, a firm is manufacturing 2000 items. That means at present time, a firm manufacturing 2000 items. It is estimated that the rate of change of production P with respect to additional number of worker X is given by this. X is equal to 100 minus 12 root X, where P is the production, X is number of additional workers. Okay. If the firm employs 25 more workers, then the new level of production of item is. So we have to find the new value of P when the X is 25. Okay. No additional worker, so item is 2000. That means if X is equal to 0, we have P is equal to 2000 and we have to find uh, at x is equal to 25 what is the value of p okay so dp by dx is equal to 100 minus 12 root x okay so this is given to us now what we have to find out we have to find out the relationship between p and root x this is dp by dx so you just need to do and simple integration with respect to dx so if we integrate both the sides then it comes out as p it is 100x minus 12. x is to 1 by 2 is integration. That is x is to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2. So it's 12 into 2 by 3. So it's 8x is to 3 by 2 plus c. We have to add this constant because it is indefinite integration. So we must have to add the constant. And to find the value of that particular constant, they given this condition. What that the value at the x is equal to 0, p is equal to 2000. So just put x is equal to 0 and p is equal to 2000. So I put here p is equal to 2000 and x is equal to here 0, here 0. So c becomes 2000. So c becomes 2000. And now I put this c is equal to 2000 in this equation number 1. So my value of the formula of p production is 100x minus 8x is to 3 by 2 plus 2000. Okay. Now just put 25 as x. So 100 into 25 minus 8 into 25 that is 5 square uh, whole raised to 3 by 2 plus 2000 and just simplify this. So we get the answer 3500. So my answer option number 3 is right option 3500. Very simple question. No need of any any particular formula. No need to use any particular brain. Just simple logic. Okay. Very basic questions. See one more example. It's from JW 2014. Let the population of rabbits surviving at a time t governed by the differential equation d p t of d t is equal to 1 by 2 p of t minus 200. Okay, d by d t of p of t is equal to 1 by t p of t minus 200. So, see again. For finding c is equal to 0, for finding the value of c, they give the one condition p of 0 is equal to 100, then p of t equals to what? So, again, we just have to find the value of p of t here, the equation of p of t. For finding the constant, for finding the value of the constant, they give one condition. So, just simply integrate this. We have d p of t here, d p of t upon dt is equal to 1 by dp of t minus 200 just take lcm 2 here so it's p of t minus 100 by 2 now take p of t as one side and p one side this is called a variable separable method 
P of t is one variable, t is one variable. So I take P of t's equation here and dt is here. It's called variable separable method. We all know about that. So I'm not going to tell this. Okay. This is very basic stuff. Yeah, d p of t. So in the denominator, differentiation is in the numerator. Here, p of t minus 400 differentiation is d p of t. So the equation becomes log mode p of t minus 400 is equal to 1 by 2 into t. So 1 by 2 into t. Now taking e both side. So p of t minus 400 is equal to k into e raised to one half okay k into e raised to a into t raised to one half uh, k is the constant you can take any constant because by integrating both the side you have to add one additional constant okay so we take k so equation becomes like this p of t is, is equal to 400 plus k into e raised to t by 2 now we all know that the condition p of 0 is equal to 100 just put t is equal to 0 here and you will get the answer if t is equal to 0 here this becomes t is to 0 that is 1 p of t is 100 so k becomes minus 300 now just put k is equal to minus 300 here so p of t is equal to 400 minus 300 e raised to t by 2 so answer option number 1 400 minus 300 raised to into e raised to t by 2 is my right option very simple thing okay let's see one more example i recommend you to pause this video and solve this example by your own so we you will get the idea how is it it is okay what they say let y of x be the solution of the differential equation x log x divided by dx plus y is equal to 2 x log x where x greater than equal to 1 then y of e is equals to what now see friends this is a linear differential equation we all know that but still i am going to write the formula here what is the first order differential equation that is linear first order linear differential equation is the form of y dx that is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x you must convert each and every linear differential equation in this form if it is y dash that is dy by dx so here x log x dy by dx plus y is equal to 2x log x so i have to divide the whole equation by x log x so by doing that i come with the equation that is dy by dx plus y by x log x is equal to 2 now see what's the solution of this if the equation is in this form then the solution is y of x y into u of x is equal to integration u of x q of x dx the u of x is known as integrating factor the formula of integrating factor is e raised to integration p of x dx now you just have to need to find u of x so u of x is e raised to p of x dx and p of x is the coefficient of y uh, if you divide this whole equation by x log x then you will get this equation see x ln x dy by dx plus y is equal to 2x log x so now if we divide this then we have dy by dx plus y upon x log x is equal to 2 so we all know that the integrating factor is integrating factor is equal to integration p of x dx so p of x is coefficient of y that is 1 upon x log x dx now we all know that 1 upon x in the numerator log x in the denominator so the differentiation of the numerator sorry differentiation of the denominator in the numerator so log mode log is the formula so our answer is e raised to log mode log x so e and log gets cancelled out and we left with log x so integrating factor is log x now just need to use the solution solution is y into integrating factor is equal to e raised to y into integrating factor is equal to integration q of x integrating factor dx okay so y into ln x y into log x is equal to integration 2 that is q of x into integrating factor dx plus c plus c must be added because it's indefinite integration y into ln x is equal to c plus what is the differentiation of ln x it's x ln x minus x we all know that it's basic thing you can find this ln x differentiation by u dx we all know that x into ln x minus 1 okay now the condition is already given what is the condition 
x is equal to 1 the by e we have to find the value of y of e so just need to use that they say put x is equal to 1 then y is equal to 0 we all know that and x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 in this equation okay so i put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 it is given in the question so c 0 is equal to c plus 2 into minus 1 c is equal to 2 okay so very basic thing the, they say okay so y x, x is equal to 1 y of y is equal to 0 i put here and we get c is equal to 2 now c is equal to put here and now we have to find the what value of y of e so put x is equal to e here so y into ln e is equal to 2 plus 2 e ln e minus e so it's y is equal to 2 so my answer option which is right answer option number 3 is right option okay see friends here the, in the question due to misprinting they don't written this thing that at x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 but we have to do this thing and we can assumpt, uh, we can take an assumption by putting x is equal to 1 here see if you put x is equal to 1 here then ln 1 is 0 this is 1 0 so uh, y becomes 0 okay so this can come by here also see sometimes if they don't give a basic condition we have to take an assumption of that and by doing that assumption we can get the value of c and we can get the final answer so don't confuse okay uh, this is a very good chapter each and every gentleman's means exam consists one or two questions on this topic so you have to solve all the formulas all the problems on that okay if you have any query ask me in comments so tomorrow also we are going to solve the more problems on the differential equation keep watching thank you for watching this video and if you like this video don't forget to share it and hit that subscribe button